Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So it's D-Day. The Day of Days. It's a day we commemorate pretty much every year in the U.S. And we talk about it. We love to glorify it. You know, and it makes sense on some levels. You know, it was a turning point for the country. The people who saw it were witnesses to history. They saw the United States really become a superpower. Because if you had to pick a day, that's the day it happened. They saw the day that the New World began to exert some influence over the old in a very tangible way. And that's all fine and good. But what do we actually know about D-Day? Not as much as you might think. We don't even know how many we lost. There's no clear number on that. Because it was a mess. It was a jumble. The, uh, the counts from D-Day and D-Day plus one, plus two, and so on, they all just kind of blurred together. This important moment, and we don't even know how many we lost. What do we actually know about D-Day? Why is it such a major event in American consciousness? That image, that image of thousands upon thousands of Americans throwing themselves into the grinder to oppose tyranny and injustice. That's an American thing. I think it's fitting that this mess, this jumble that we're currently in is occurring now. Because it's thousands upon thousands of Americans throwing themselves into the grinder to oppose injustice and tyranny. It is a turning point. If we're smart enough to allow it to be, we are witnesses to history. And I know, I know. They should have done it better. They should have had a leader like Martin Luther King. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But see, the thing is, Martin Luther King, he was the catalyst. In a lot of ways, he built the Civil Rights Movement. But his most important contribution, from where I'm sitting, was getting the message out. Letting everybody know what the grievances were. Getting it into the mainstream so people who looked and sounded like me got it. At least a little bit if they listened. But, at the same time, I would like to point out that other things were going on during the Civil Rights Movement. You might want to Google the long, hot summer in relation to civil rights rather than the movie. And as you read about it, maybe ask yourself why that part isn't in your history book. But yeah, they need a leader. Somebody who could do that. Somebody who can make people listen, get attention, enter the public narrative, get people talking about it. They had that. They had that. Now granted, he was no Martin Luther King. Nobody saw him as such a threat that they looked at him through a scope. But people certainly did it to his character football man didn't stand for the magic song. I gotta go burn my Nikes now. If you burned your Nikes then, if you had issues with it then, all of this is your fault. Because you could have listened then. He got it out into the public narrative. He got it into the conversation. Not many wanted to listen. Even fewer wanted to act. And then, after that, after that, when people who you may have a sticker on your car saying that you support them, the Sergeant Major of the Army, the Joint Chiefs, when they issued statements saying the exact same thing that we need to listen, 
No, no, they've gone soft. And then when those soldiers take a knee, well, that's just horrible. When they take a knee and listen, that's a bad thing. Because they need a leader. They. 12% of the population needs a leader in a country where it takes 50% to do anything. They need a leader, not us. You know, there's are stereotypes, entitled and lazy. We won't even clean up our own mess. The system that creates the injustice is a system of our creation. It's a system that we defend, we maintain, we built. There's only so much that 12% of the population can do without backup, without assistance. They don't need a leader, we do. We need to back their plays and we need to make some of our own because we can get it done a whole lot faster because this is going to happen. We are going to have to address the original sin of the United States, one of them. We're going to have to do it, otherwise it'll keep cycling back around over and over again. Eventually, the changes will be made. The only thing that we're determining now is how long it takes and how much injustice occurs before. They don't need a leader, we do. Uh, I'm not going to be active in the comment section today like I normally am because even in the small, tiny little town near where I live, there's a march today. And I'm going to be there to back their play. I'm going to be there to be a witness to history, to see the turning point. And I'm going to be there because black lives matter. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.